Yo, welcome back to another video. Today we are in the oh, uh, Great League Remix, excuse me. And uh, we're going to see if we can run a different team here. Looks like we're going to be featuring the Shadow Empoleon paired with the Gus Lord. And pairing off with the Shadow um, Clagger. Here we have a decent lead. They switch out into the Quaxer. And then we're going to switch out into our Gus Lord. Gus Lord here able to um, tank most of these moves. Let's see what they end up throwing. They go for the stone ears, good neutral damage for them. And now we're just going to have to uh, throw this crunch, this crunch here. Potentially could get the debuff and you can see it does a decent amount of damage as it is a stab move on our part. We do get the debuff, so that's going to allow us to uh, get it really low into the red before they throw, have to throw a move. We're going to allow this one to go through. It ends up being the other stone edge and we're going to look for a farm down. So a farm down with against these Quaxar is going to be okay for us as we can get an energy head start with our Gligar. Gligar versus the uh, Manting here going to be okay. So we're going to go for Aero Aces here. Aero Aces is going to do some good and neutral damage towards this uh, Manting. Um, we have to consider uh, catching a move or watching out for a potential um, uh, Ice Beam. But it looks like we, we just switch out and they are going to be using a Stun Fist. Stun Fist here is going to be able to dominate this um empoleon so looks like we're just gonna allow this one to uh go through because we're gonna have no chance to get this one um uh as a win so we're gonna have to tank this one here and then we're gonna have to see how much damage these discharge does so the discharge did roughly 10 to 15 percent so we gotta keep that in mind we're gonna go for this dig here anticipating that they're gonna save the shield for their backline but they do end up shielding so interesting situation right now we're gonna have to shield here as we do have two shields to use still um and then our pony here is gonna switch out into the manting manting here has to get through this glider with a shield one arrow ace takes it into the red we're gonna have to tank our shield this next one here try our best to take out this um manting Ooh, so the man team did have a lot of energy. They're going to be able to get to another arrow ace here. Does the arrow ace take it out? No. But we're looking for the farm down and we don't get the farm down. So GG's to our opponent. Unable to win that game um, against the uh, uh, man team right there. So we basically uh, let them flip the switch and we should have uh, shielded at that point. All right, next game. Let's see what we find. We got the Pelper versus the Shadow and Polion. Shadow and Polion here. Pretty decent. Okay, they're going to switch out into the Polyrath. We do have the Gligar for this situation. We're going to be able to win this easily as long as we maintain shields. We're going to go and fire off this Arrow Ace. They decided to shield because they're trying to get to a um, Icy Wind here. But we're just going to shield and just to match them. One Icy Wind goes um, shielded and we are going to get debuffed. Here we're going to have to go for another Arrow Ace. Will this arrow ace get shielded or will they let it go? They decided to let it go. We do get a little bit extra farm because we did get debuffed, so it didn't quite take it out. Now we have to deal with this Pelipper. Pelipper here, um, it's going to have to tank at least one arrow ace, potentially two, depending on how much energy they want to um, farm up. Okay, so they do have to tank one arrow ace, and looks like we're just going to allow this one to go down. And then we're going to come back in with our Empoleon, I believe. So Empoleon is going to be able to uh, tank most of these moves we have to watch out about a potential hurricane but the hurricane won't won't um income until a while so we do try to catch a move right there but we are able to anticipate it we throw this hydro cannon um back at this muck the muck here is going to get farmed down and now we're going to have energy to throw back at this uh, pelipper and they know that that is ggs for them because we still have one full pokemon and a shield and some empoleon energy so um, nice, nice play by us. On to the next game. So another way to think about this is uh, we got uh, double anti-electrics um, for the back line. We got the Guzzlord and we got the Gligar uh, to take care of potential electrics. So here we got the Mirror Empoleon matchup. Got the Shadow on Shadow. This comes down to just who is able to win the CAP. So uh, we're going to allow them to throw the move first. We're going to play this on the one shield. At least that's the hope. We're going to go for our own Hydro Cannon here. This Hydro Cannon, let's see if it gets shielded. They do let it go. And now here it comes down to the moment. Will we um, switch out? We do catch the move. Because um, they probably are just going to let that go. 
So we do save that energy, switch out into our Guzzlord. They have the Dragonite in the back. So Dragonite in the back is interesting because our Guzzlord is going to have uh, the bulk to get to another move. This is definitely going to get a shield from our opponent. And now we know they have the uh, Dragonite Empoleon uh, core. So we have, a, we have a decision to make. Are we going to go into our Empoleon or do we go into our uh, Glider? We're going to go into our Empoleon to throw the... Um, Hydro immediately, and then our opponent here does um, get to their Annihilate. The Annihilate is able to farm us down, and that is huge because not only do we um, feign on all that energy, but we also have to deal with this Annihilate now. Um, Annihilate does go for the Shadow Ball, and unfortunately for us, we are not going to be able to get to two Aerial Aces, so that is GG's to our opponent, unable to win against our Annihilate backline. Um, I thought we could have gotten to another move, but unfortunately, uh, we, we fainted on that move and that was a, a ton of energy wasted. So here we go again. We got the Artifax versus our Shadow Empoleon. They're going to switch out into the uh, Swamper. We have the Guzzlord for this situation. This Guzzlord is going to be able to tank the first move easily. Let's see what they throw. If they're going to throw the Earthquake or Hydro, they're going to go for the Hydro Cannon. So because they went for the Hydro Cannon, we can throw this... Uh, breaking or sorry dragon claw um when we have it and then we're going to look for the farm down so one one move and, and able to farm now because they decided to let it go here now our opponent has to um decide what they want to come back in and they decide to quit because that artifax uh, unfortunately is just not going to be able to out bulk that guzzlord and um even if they take it out they have to deal with our empoleon still so gg star opponent ended up um, winning that game right there so next game let's see what we find we get the Shadow uh, Empoleon versus this Gramble. Fantastically anticipating a switch out. They go into their Gliger. So we're going to stay in for a little bit. And then we're going to throw this Hydro Cannon first. So that we can at least get a shield or some big damage. Then we're going to switch out into our um, Guzzlord. The Guzzlord here is going to be able to tank any of the moves. We want this Guzzlord out of the way because we know that they have that Gramble. So we know that the, the Gramble is just going to be able to completely delete this guzzlord so we're gonna shield once and then allow them to throw another move we can survive this dig quite easily and now we're looking for um some little bit of energy we're gonna throw this dragon claw right before they get to another move and then we're going to um most likely anticipate seeing that uh gramble we tank one charm and then we're going to be able to get to one crunch this crunch here does some good um, damage considering it's resisted it, it almost felt like a neutral damage attack so we know that they have one charm and then they're going to switch out into the um victory bell so the victory bell versus the glider not the perfect not the great situation for them we're going to allow them to throw the move first so that we can sneak in a fast move they go for the sludge bomb either way they're going to be able to get farmed down and now we have a ton of energy to throw right back at that shadow gramble the shadow gramble here is going to have to get through not only the empoleon but now two aero aces so this is all but over because we're gonna have a ton of energy and we still have that empoleon still so well played by us just able to um maintain alignment and check out this team if you haven't already and let us know if you enjoyed the video